of Anarchy, a sanctuary for farmed animals, and especially those with special needs. We work daily with dozens of animals who wear prosthetic devices for their mobility, and we don't know exactly what we're going to find when we pick up this horse, but it's likely that she's going to need her foot amputated and will therefore require a prosthetic device. So by bringing her to Goats of Anarchy, we are giving her the best possible chance at the best possible life. We just landed in New Orleans. We're on our way to go pick up um, the rental car and then the drive to pick up the yet unnamed horse is uh, about an hour and a half, so we'll be seeing her soon. Somebody in the rental car facility just gave us a uh, Already grow up eats, and we didn't even have to do anything for them. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have to do anything for them. Alright, first stop Walmart. Gotta pick up some supplies. One six foot by eight foot, that's it? No, I think we should get a few in case she, you know, in case we need a new one. Okay, so we have trash bags, bucket for water, three tarps. What else do we need? What animal do you want? Huh? Gorilla, T-Rex, or duck? I mean, this should keep the back of the car plate. I think if someone looked at this car and had to guess what we were about to do, they would not guess to pick up a pony. I mean, literally, it would be... Dana? Yes. Hi, this is Ellen with Goats of Anarchy. Hi. Um, I was just calling to let you know that we're about two hours away. Okay, that's perfect. That's fine. I'll be here. Okay, great. See you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. We're here. When we met her, I mean, I think we both fell in love immediately. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh, I like you too. Hi. But I have to say, it was really hard to look at her foot and imagine what she had been through. We're gonna show you her foot now, so if that's not something that you want to see in a close-up, then skip ahead about 10 seconds. I mean, I've never seen anything like this, but... Yeah, They can't do that no, right. she would be dead if we listened to them. She's been eating all morning, so she's gonna be ready to lay down and take a nap, you know? Okay, perfect. Yeah, they don't but she's like, this means the best. I'm not going in here. She seemed a little skeptical about going in the car at first, but it was nothing a couple of treats couldn't fix. Not yet. But she seems tired, so I hope she will. Did they give you 
you all the papers? Yeah, I've got all the papers, her grain, three jugs of water. Sorry, we only have 20 more hours to go. We had a very long drive ahead of us, so we took turns napping so we could drive straight through. The mini, who is now known as Teaspoon, seemed a little nervous at first, but it didn't take her long to settle in. So we're about two and a half hours away from where we picked her up, and um, it's her dinner time, so we stopped to give her some grain and water and um, let her pee. We're hoping that she will pee when we stop and walk her and not in the back of the car, but we'll see. Good girl! Good job, baby. She actually peed as soon as we took her out of the car, which we were really happy about. And she ate a good amount of her dinner, but she wouldn't drink any water. It was starting to get dark though, so we decided to try again at the next stop. It's about 8 p.m. now and everything's still going smoothly. This drive is actually flying by. Is she drinking? Good. Oh, good girl. So it's about 8 a.m. now, and we're somewhere in Virginia. Um, we just pulled off at a rest stop. She's been so good all night. She just laid down in the back and has been super calm and content. This doesn't seem to have been stressful for her at all, um, and we're really happy about that. So we're gonna get her out and give her breakfast, some water, a chance to pee and stretch her legs. We got about six hours left, right? And then we'll get back on the road. Yeah, eat that hay, maybe yeah. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. It's the back corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Here we are. 24 hours later. Hi. We made it. Last, finally, right? As much as she wanted to greet Teaspoon when she arrived, our vet was with another patient when we got there. But she had a nice cozy stall all set up for Teaspoon in her brand new hospital barn. So we helped her settle in and then had to say our goodbyes. We have fun with you. Yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah. I hope that this day would never have ended. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Teaspoon has a long road ahead of her, but you could tell that she was up for the challenge. Now that she's a ghost of anarchy, she really is in the best hands possible. When our vet first saw Teaspoon's foot, she had doubts about whether the cause of her injury was a rattlesnake bite, but we'll keep you updated as we find out more. We'll be filming Teaspoon's whole journey, and we cannot wait to be able to show you a happy, spunky little girl living her absolute best life. If you want to be the first to know when we release an update video, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until then, you can follow Teaspoon's progress by following Goats of Anarchy on Instagram and Facebook. And please remember, we cannot do any of this without support from people like you. 
you'd like to donate towards Teaspoon's Care, you can find information in the video description below. Thank you all so much for watching.